So with all the different cigar cutters that are out there, which one's right for you? Maybe it's one like this. Different shape, same idea. Maybe it's one like this. Maybe it's one that cuts like a melon baller. Maybe it's a cheapo like this. Or maybe this that actually doesn't have a hole in it, and I'll explain why. But what's the right cigar cutter for you? Well, let's go through these together and I'll explain what the intention behind each one of them are and see if I can help you discover the right cigar cutter for you. What's going on everybody? Cigar Show Tim here of Tobacco Talk Media. Let's go through the three main types of cuts you will make on a cigar and then go through some examples of the cutter so maybe I can help narrow it down for you as to what you may prefer in your journey. Let's start with the most common, most widely used. It is the straight cut. So the straight cut is very simply what it sounds like. It is a double guillotine blade, which is what this is here. They can be single, but this is a double guillotine cutter. And it's a straight cutter because it makes a straight cut on the cigar. So you put the cigar here, just inside. And then as you can see, just a little bit of the cap shows through. And then you squeeze down and you make the cut. What you don't want to do with a straight cut is go way down onto the body of the cigar, like here, below the cap, below the shoulders. This is the cap, this curved part here is the shoulder, and this is the body. You never wanna cut below the shoulder specifically because that's where the wrap for the cap is so that it doesn't come unraveled. So if you've ever had a cigar that you cut and you're smoking it and it starts to unravel, that's probably the reason why. But as a straight cut, you put it in, put it just right there at the cap and, cut and you get the straight cut so there's one kind there and this is a very entry level average run of the mill sometimes you get them free when you order a box of cigars those kinds of things that's what this one is here but then there are other examples of it like the plastic version of it same thing or there are others like this simple basic cheapo but just different shape really that's the only difference now, if you look, there's something big and very noticeably different with these two cutters. If I open up the blades, you'll see that this top one has a smaller opening than the bottom one here. Cigars are measured in 64ths of an inch when it comes to ring gauge. So a, a one inch in diameter cigar is a 64 ring gauge. So you may have a cigar that is a 48 ring gauge that something like this would be absolutely perfect for. You may have a cigar that is a 60 or 70 ring gauge, something from, you know, maybe Asylum that is a 70 or 80 ring gauge that something like this would work on. This cutter goes all the way up to an 80 ring gauge, which means it's larger than an inch in diameter. Now, this will cut pretty much any cigar under the sun, unless you have, say, the 990 April Fools by CLE Cigars, or you've got the uh, JFR Lunatic by Aganor Salif, that's a 10 by 100. Um, then, obviously, this is surprisingly too small to be able to cut the cap on that cigar. But these are the most common uh, straight cutters that you're going to find, and the cigar goes all the way through it. But then there's a different kind of straight cut staying in the same category and it's called the perfect cut so it looks a lot like the straight cut hold this one up here this one is by vertigo but when you open the blades there's a back behind it and what this does is it allows for you to make a cut without cutting too much off the cap of the cigar so what it'll do is it'll make it possible for you to cut the cigar and not have too much of it get cut, so you risk cutting the cap, different things of that nature. And so I'm going to show you a different version of that, uh, they call it a perfect cut. This one here is made by Lotus, it's called the Meteor, in case you're curious about it. So this one here, the two tabs on the side open up when you push the top button, and what you do is you take the cigar, put it into the cutter so it's all the way against it, and you simply just squeeze and cut, and it makes a nice clean straight cut as you can see right there no problems with it but then for this one you have to open it up and you can see that the cap of the cigar is right in there you take this you dump it out you throw it in your ashtray and you move on 
So there's the perfect cut. So if you look at both of these with the straight cut and the perfect cut, you can see that they accomplish the same thing. The perfect cut one gives you a little more opening on the top than the one where you get to be the judge on how much of the cap to cut off of your cigar. So there's the difference between the two of those. Still straight cuts. So you've got the perfect cut, you've got that, you've got the straight cut, but then there's a different style for a straight cutter. One like this, where it's got a little button right here on it, you slide it down, and the sides open up so that you can slide your cigar into it and make the cut like any other straight cut would. Now I'm going to do this with the scar that I already did the straight cut on, so it's probably going to cut a little bit much off, but it's the same idea. Cigar, cutter, and you want to get just enough through it so that when you make your cut, you have a nice straight cut on the top of your cigar. So they look like this. This is one from Lotus right there, but then there's other styles. This is by a brand named Zycar, and this one is a marketing one that you can get, you know, with your brand name on it. This one's for Villager Cigars. But you can see two very same concept cigar cutters just laid out a little bit differently from each other and maybe a little bit different ring gauge. In fact, I'll show it to you uh, this way. You'll see that the black one or the one behind here has just a little bit smaller of a ring gauge because you can see it still through this one by Lotus that is right up front. So different way to cut, but still a straight cut. It's a matter of style, preference, really at the end of the day for those, it's just a matter of what you enjoy and what you like. So let's go next to the second type of cut and that is a V cut. Now there are a couple different types of V cuts. There are some that uh, Calibri has one that's called a deep V and it makes a very um, deep chiseled V cut into the cap of your cigar. This one here is again by Lotus and this one here is a V cut but it has, if you look closely, it has serrated blades right here. You can see the serrated blades and you look closely right there. And there's this kind of V cut that you can make. You push the, open this up, put the cigar right against the cap and close it down on it. And there's that kind of V cut. Then there is a non serrated V cut, but it does the same exact thing. This one is by Zyphi and this one here, same idea. You can see that it makes a V shape cut in the cap of your cigar. So if I take this cigar right here and I put it in to the cutter and you can see that there's a little bit of a cavity right there to put it into, put it into the cavity of the cigar or of the cutter, excuse me, squeeze down and you can see that it makes a V cut in the head of the cigar. Now with V cuts, there are sometimes what's called crown cuts or cross cuts. Now it's Pretty simply, you know, pretty simple and self-explanatory, but it means that you have done a V cut more than one time on the cap of your cigar. So I've got the cut that's going this way, as you can see right there. So if I line it up at a 90 degree angle from where it was the first time, and then go ahead and cut it again, you'll see that now there is a cross on the cap of the cigar. So you can see that it's cut with two different channels. Sometimes people will do two cuts. Sometimes they'll equally space out three of them and they'll call it a crown cut. Cross cut, crown cut, it's pretty interchangeable. It just means that you gave your cigar a V cut more than one time on the cap of the cigar. So you've got all those. And then there is one last type of cut on a cigar and that is a punch. And this is probably the least used type of cut that I have seen in my years. Uh, smoking cigars and enjoying them. And that is one right here like this. This is attached to a lighter. Many times you'll get some lighters that'll have a punch cut built into it. And it's simply a round, basically like a cookie cutter. And what you do is you take your cigar, take the cap of it, and in the middle of the cap on the cigar, if I can get it to focus right there at the middle of the cap on the cigar, you gently push in and twist it. And what you want to do, as it's gently going down, is you're gently twisting and cutting into the cap of the cigar. And then when you pull it out, what you'll have, and I stayed in there so I can show you, fortunately, you'll have this part right here where it is cut and you take this out. And the cigar is now open and you can get draw through it. 
There are some people that don't care for a punch cut because they say that it doesn't allow for enough airflow in the cigar. Uh, there are also some that say they don't prefer it because they tend to smoke their cigars a little bit on the quicker side and you'll get a tar buildup where literally it'll be like a black tar liquid buildup on the cap of the cigar, which means you're smoking it too quickly and there isn't enough airflow in the cigar to prevent that from happening. But there is one more type that is really not used hardly at all, but it's been on the market for a couple years now uh, and it's called the baller cut. So we've done the straight, We've done the V, we've done the cross or the uh, crown cut, which is part of the V. We just did a punch. And then now there is this, which is the baller by Cigar Medics. And if you look in here, there's a ball bearing that when you push down, rotates up. And it essentially is like a melon baller for the cap of your cigar. So we just did the punch on this. So I'm going to use the same cigar. And you just put the cigar into it. Do a click on the cutter. And you can see right there, it is a larger opening right there, but it's a little bit like a bowl was cut out or like a melon baller, if you were to use that for watermelon or cantaloupe, or whatever it may be. And it's sort of a combination between a straight cut, a punch and a V cut all in one. So those are the different types of cuts, but when it comes to cutters, really it comes down to preference. You can get a straight cut that you wanna have fun and it's more of a tchotchke and you just want to play with it and click it open and close and open and close and do all that. You know, again, a different style. This is the Lotus one. You can do this over and over again and play with it. You may just be a simple average run in the mill. I don't care what cigar cutter I use. I just need a straight cut that's going to work. And maybe the cheapo, simple little $5 when you're at your local cigar lounge is good enough for you. You may want to be a little more precise in the cut and do the perfect cut like this one is here that I already showed you. Or you may want to be on the fancy end uh, and you may prefer for airflow and draw. You may prefer to have a V cut like this one here. At the end of the day, it comes down to one thing. Pick the cutter that cuts the cigar the way you want to enjoy the cigar. That's it. Somebody in the lounge goes, oh, how dare you, you know, V cut that cigar. You completely ruined it. That's their opinion. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Now, if you enjoy a V-cut, more power to you. If you enjoy a straight cut, cool. If you like the punch, use a punch. Whatever you want to use, just make sure you have the proper cutter to do that. And then there, I didn't show this one. This is a guillotine cutter. It is a perfect cut, so it's got the backing on it, but it also acts as a cigar rest so that after your cigar is cut and lit, you can set it on there, you can rest it, if you don't have a cigar rest or anything like that. This one was sent out by Drew Estate, so they you know, customize them based on the company that makes them, all that kind of stuff. So you'll find customized things that's out there, just like this one that I showed you, this one, Luciano Cigars. It's the Vertigo Perfect Cut. Same idea, same concept. But at the end of the day, find the cutter that works best for the way that you want to enjoy your cigars. Put some comments down below. What kind of cut do you prefer on your cigars? I know some people, if they're having a torpedo, prefer a straight cut and they will cut it at a little bit of an angle because of the point that the cap comes to so that they can get more airflow. I know there are some people that are purists and it is straight cut all the time. But put some comments down below. Which way do you enjoy your cigars? What kind of cutter do you use? And you know, maybe even throw down what cutter is your favorite. It could be the $5 cheapo at your local shop, or it may be something that, you know, is a little bit more on the pricier end. And this, I think, is a, I don't know, like a $30 or $40 cutter. I've had this for multiple years. As you can tell, it has been well used. But put down in the comments what your favorite type of cut is. Calibri Deep V cut, you know, whatever it may be. Because I'm curious to see which way you enjoy cutting your cigars. If you have questions about the way you should cut a cigar or why did it come unraveled or why did this happen or any of those things, put those down in the comments as well. I'd love to answer any questions I can and help you out in your cigar journey. But I hope that helps give you an idea of the different types of cigar cutters that are out there and help you pick one that is going to be really your preference for cigars moving forward. And really that's all it is, it's preference. So I hope I've helped you discover a little bit more what's available, what's out there, what you can use. But really there's just three types of cuts. After that, it's all about whichever you know way you wanna have it look, which way the cutter you want designed, whatever it may be. So go and find the cutter that works best for you and use it, plain and simple. That's gonna do it. I hope I helped you 
gain a little bit more understanding or learn a little bit about some of the differences and the perfect cut and things like that. But again, leave some comments down below. I'd love to engage and comment back and forth and continue the conversation. That's going to do it for this topic of cigar cutters. I hope I helped you out. But at the end of the day, what I really hope is that you enjoy your cigar journey, everybody. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.